My name is Ebenezer Amwako Entry, and you are so welcome to this YouTube channel. On this YouTube channel, you are going to get videos that will set you up in your work with God and also with your prayer life. On this channel, you upload videos consistently to make sure that believers are guided to pray and pray and pray. If you are new to this YouTube channel, make sure that you subscribe to the YouTube channel so that when we upload new videos, you can have access to them. And also, if you don't understand anything, kindly send us a message and we will get back to you. Also, make sure that this video you are about to watch, you will like the video, try and comment on it. And when you are blessed by the video, make sure that you share it to someone. Thank you. If the motives are right, then your works can be considered. If the motive is wrong, there's no need wasting his time with your works because it will be burnt off. And so there are many people who may never receive reward regardless of what they did for God. What a waste will it be that you spent your whole life serving God and at the end of the day, you receive no reward because demons blinded your eyes. No, it will not be your portion in the name of Jesus. The operation... Praise God. When you go back home tonight, consciously tell yourself that this is an evil world. This is an evil age. And also tell yourself nothing happening is a coincidence. There is a God of this world manipulating what is happening. And number three, tell yourself this world will come to an end. And when it does, May you not lose out because of the oppression of the spirit of this age. And so, what are the agencies that advance the first oppression of the spirit of the age, which is deception? Spirits, men, and circumstances. And what are the things spirits do in order to provoke deception into your soul? Worry. And so when next something happens and you are worried, sit down and study your worry. Why are you so worried about this? Is it because it will not happen? Or is it because if it doesn't happen, something will, you will lose something? If you don't begin to study these things, you will make the wrong decisions. You will make... This is why people put themselves under unnecessary pressure. We had a lot of billboards everywhere. And then God gave us project 5 million souls, told us to do some crusades, and then we needed to buy some stuff. And we were going to tamper into finances that we shouldn't tamper into and put us under pressure. There was time, the time came to renew the billboards. The brother traveled, we, we didn't hear from him. They removed the billboards because when the time comes, they remove them. And when the brother called one week later, they were rushing, put the billboards back. And I said, well, the last time you checked, the feedbacks you got, how many came on account of B-Board? We now discovered the list <laughs> of all our evangelism stunts. The least aspect for now is B-Board. And that's okay, hold on first. Instead of that B-Board, let's channel the money for this month for the crusade and see what happened. So we channeled the resources for crusade and we want 2,000 plus souls. And I say, ah, is this crusade more effective? <laughs> and this b-board i said okay we allow the b-board for now when we have leftover we'll go back to b-board somebody now called me and said i didn't see your b-board again what happened i said we have other more important projects if you are not careful you now say ah, what will people say that my b-board is no longer up relax that's not necessary you didn't come to compete for b-boards when you have extra spare you have spare money you can use it for it but for now one crusade saves more than two thousand souls it's more effective so many times when you are worried 
Study your worry and find out the root of that worry. Sometimes the reason you are so worried is your ego. If this thing doesn't work, what will they say about me? No, it can't happen. Not because of what God is thinking. Not even because of, of the impact of what God wants to achieve. Demons use worry. Demons. Demons. They use ego. Demons use your ignorance in order to enslave you perpetually. And they also use your ambition. And then when it has to do with men, you have to be careful. Men use lies. Men use exaggeration. Men hoard information from you in order to keep you in ignorance. Men deliberately misinterpret facts. Don't just hear something and start shouting, we said it. Wait, calm down. Study the facts for yourself. When they misinterpret facts for you, you may crucify an innocent person and you will discover you are walking in deception. And then men also use heresy. They will look at a whole story. They will pick the part that favored their story. And they will leave the whole story. And they will take two seconds out of a three hours reality. And then you look at it and you are concluding. Don't be part of that generation. Find out the whole context and know exactly what happened so that you are not a victim of deception. And thirdly, when God is beginning to change your circumstances, be careful. Even your circumstances can deceive you. The new position you have entered can be the reason why you lose God. The new car you bought can be the reason why you lose God. The new relationship you entered can be the reason why you fail completely. Be very careful. There are many things fighting your soul and one of the things they are using is the tool of deception. As you go back home, meditate on these things. And if there's any area that you are a victim, ask God to help you. Either because it is done to you or you are doing it to others, ask God to help you. Because if it doesn't happen, not too long, you will become blind. You will no longer know what God is doing. You will no longer perceive the will of God. And then number two, you will no longer be in sync with the will of God. And number three, which is more dang most dangerous, you may end up walking through time and not having reward in eternity. And what a wasted existence that would be. It will not be your portion to be a waste after time. When you get back into eternity at the end of time, you will have all the reward that God has predestined for you in the name of Jesus Christ. I hope you enjoyed this video and I believe that you were blessed. If um, you were blessed by this video, make sure that you click on the share button and share it to a friend. And also make sure that you like the video so that YouTube can recommend this video to other people so that they can also be blessed by the message. If you have any question, please make sure that you contact us and we'll get back to you. And also, if you are watching this video and you don't know Jesus Christ, ask the Lord and personal Savior. I want you to make that decision. Just contact us in the description. Call us and let us lead you to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. And lastly, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on the, that notification bell icon. Turn it on so that when new videos are uploaded, you can be notified. Thank you so much and see you in our next video and prayer section. Bye.